I'm Barton Siever, a chef with a passion for creating delicious meals from ingredients responsibly sourced and sustainably farmed. The locavore, or local food movement, has always been a part of American life. And recently, there's been a renewed love affair with it. However, in a world where we're constantly encouraged to think globally, should we care where our food comes from or who farms it? I'm meeting with locavores across the country to see if these are craftspeople worthy of inspiring a generation or outmoded thinkers flying in the face of common sense for the sake of a forgotten lifestyle. I'm in search of food and I found it! Yes! I'm heading out of Manhattan to Green Point, Brooklyn to Eagle Street Farms to meet Annie Novak who in stark contrast to One Point Market Everything there is trucked in from somewhere else, but Annie's using a new technique of rooftop farming to grow ingredients right here along the East River in a heavily industrialized area. Not quite the first image masters. comes to mind when you think However, of farming. However, it's since grown into a sprawling metropolis of eight million people that imports food from all over the world. Right in the heart of a city. I, mean, I feel like you've walked into a garden shed here. This is incredible. Hey, how are you? Hey, how are you, Martin? I'm well, Annie. Nice to see you. Happy fall. Yeah. It's good to see you too. Yeah, well, thanks for having me up. So what are you doing now? I mean, this is the end of the season coming up, right? Yeah, we're harvesting the last of the fall fruit. So I'm getting all the peppers off the farm and we've probably got about 10 days. So we figured we'd make a bunch of pickled peppers. You know, and it's so weird. There's a city of 8 million people and they're 3,000 miles away from the food they need to survive, California, Mexico, and, and you know, points beyond. But, uh, but you're proving that it can be done just a few hundred yards. Extraordinarily locally, yeah. So tell me about what you're doing. I mean, farm on a roof? Yeah. <laughs> kind of a new idea. Well, we were founded in April of last year. We tried something really new. Nobody's ever tried to grow a rooftop farm before. So we're trying to run a pretty standard local farm right here in Brooklyn. And um, so far, so good. As you can see, we've got like 25, yeah. 30 different varieties of plants growing. Now, this here, La Lacinato Kale. I mean, it looks huh. like you've actually gotten quite a lot out of this. Yeah. It looks like it's been harvested a number of times all the way up the stalks. I mean, one really nice thing about this community is that we do have many more customers than we actually have the space for. So we've been trying to plant the plants really close together. Where do your vegetables go? Um, we sell actually within biking distance to North Brooklyn. Okay, cool. um, so we do four area restaurants. We also have a market on Sundays. Where is that sense of compromise in terms of the ideals driving this farm and this creation of these great new ideas and the reality of feeding 8 million people? In terms of the city being able to sustain itself, we, we get asked that question a lot as a rooftop farm because of course people are very inspired by it and they see all the flat rooftops and they're like, great, let's do all of our produce on rooftops. It's not just about how much food we produce in terms of poundage, it's really the educational impact we have as well. Mm -hmm. People who come up to the farm and see the way organic food is grown and get to try it for themselves, become better local food shoppers. Really simple connections like that are a huge part of what we're doing here. Can everyone see the plants growing? Yes. Yeah. Very what are some of the other examples of people, other projects that are succeeding here in New York? Actually, there's a really strong urban farm community in New York, and um, there are a number of farms, not just on rooftops, but also on raised beds, parking lots, um, unit gardens. There's one called East New York Farms that's mm -hmm. out in Brooklyn as well. It's massive, and it's been around for a while, and they do wonderful community work. Very cool. Well, I'd love to see that, and I'd love to see more of the farm. Can I meet your chickens? Yes, of course. They're wonderful girls. So let me see how they're doing. Hi, ladies. They're so funny, these birds. I managed to convince Annie to give me some of the last of her kale for the meal I'm cooking at the end of my journey. <laughs> 